The reason I chose the G3X is simplicity. You look how confusing a panel is in a lot of different airplanes, and, and, and you kind of, it, it's, it's like you hodgepodge everything into it, and especially in the ex experimental world. And, and you come back and you say, okay, the bang for the bucks, what are you gonna get the best of? And, and Garmin's, it's head and shoulders above everybody else as far as the G3X touch. It's, it's very intuitive and it's just so easy to use. So I just recently got the G3X installed um, with the 275 on my extra 330 LT. It's been a great addition. I think it just fits these airplanes perfectly, you know, to not have multiple screens. You know, for me, it was just about, you know, gaining some space on my panel for one, but then for two, just having everything I need right there in one screen. You're not looking, you know, down at the floorboard to, to get your engine instruments or whatever it may be. Just one-stop shop, and, and for me, in those airplanes, I feel like it's, it's really all you need and it's perfect. I use the synthetic vision a lot in, in all my stuff, and I think that's just the coolest thing, especially when, I, when I'm flying around my home area. You think of Georgia being flat, but we're, we're in North Georgia, pretty close to the mountains, so you know, I go to Colorado a lot. I'm, I'm here in North Georgia, so between the two, you know, the being able to lay all that out and have a synthetic vision of that, that's, that is, that to me is the coolest part of the whole deal. From looking at my engine monitoring system, you know, whether it may be manifold pressure, fuel flow, you know, whatever I need to see there, and then to be able to scroll through, if I need to see a chart, if I'm going to an airport that's unfamiliar and I want to look at the airport layout, don't know where a certain hangar is, I can click on that page. Um, or obviously if you need a nav and you know you, you want to look at your flight plan, click on that page and you're, you're right there. So if, if you're going up the northeast and you're, and it's usually a, a complex arrival or departure or, or a, a route they're, they're putting you in on and you say, okay, I'm trying to get from point A to point B, okay, have I, have I put it in correctly? I can go to preview the route and say, well, now I'm going way over here. Now that's not right, so I've missed something. Now I can go back and I can fix what I've done wrong. The G3X Touch is just simplicity at its finest. As I go back in, in all my flying career and as you, as you progress and you learn newer things and, and you know that new things are intimidating to a lot of people, you know, and I'm in the older generation, so it's like intimidation to me is, you know, I don't want to change anything because I don't want to learn it. But to me, this stuff is just so, so much fun and so easy to learn. Yeah, for me, Garmin has always, always done a great job with, with integration and, and, you know, as I put the G3X in, I also put the Garmin Autopilot in, in as well. We've had airplanes and I've had airplanes over, over the course of my flying too where, you know, you, you might have one company autopilot, another company GPS. There's always one little thing that doesn't work exactly like you want it to. So just to me, having Garmin top to bottom uh, in this thing has, has made it easy. Uh, autopilot works perfect. You know, again, it's a VFR aircraft in the United States, but beyond capable of shooting an approach, probably better than a lot of airplanes that are flying today. So it, it uh, certainly makes you feel feel good and at the end of the day safety I feel like is always the number one thing so I have an avionics that function at a high level to me is you can't can't put a price tag on that I'm Chase Elliott I'm Bill Elliott and I, I fly, fly Garmin, Garmin.